Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I have a water butt but it's not quite big enough for my liking. So I wanted to upgrade, get something a bit bigger. Um, so I had this old disused wheelie bin that wasn't in use and I thought it would make a really good water butt or water collection system. It's made of really strong plastic and it's really big. It's got a good capacity, 240 litres, which is quite a bit bigger than my original water butt. So I decided to convert it. The first thing that I did was get myself a tap. This is a water butt tap. Um, it has a plastic or nylon nut at the back with a rubber washer. And uh, the one I bought was a bit of an upgrade to one that you get on a conventional water butt. So to drill the hole for the thread of the tap, I used a spade bit. And I wanted to use a spade bit that was the exact same width as the, uh, the thread of the tap, just to get a nice snug fit. So now I just needed to figure out where I wanted that hole to go. I marked up where I wanted the hole to go with a marker pen, and I just measured to find the center. So the next thing I did was drill a hole with a standard drill bit and I was going to use this hole as a guide for the spade bit because you can't really have two goes at this. If you get it wrong, um, you know, you're going to struggle to patch up a hole and make a new one. So I set up the spade bit and um, I set my drill to a high speed. Um, I feel that when you use a spade bit on a high speed, it tends to cut cleaner and there's less drag. So I just took my time with this. So once the hole was made, I just put the uh, the tap in just to check that the, the, the fit was good and it was a nice snug fit. So the next thing to do was to get that plastic nut and rubber washer attached on the other side of the thread. Um, there are probably easy ways of doing this but I decided to climb inside the wheelie bin and do it that way. So I didn't use any, any tools for this. Um, because it's a plastic thread, I didn't want to damage it, so I just tightened it by hand, and in the end I got a really snug, tight fit. So that should be absolutely fine. And now I'm just lining it up, getting it all central. You can see it's nice and firm, and that rubber washer has squashed down to, um, to create a nice watertight seal. If you're new to the channel, thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy and uh, I hope you consider subscribing for more videos. So now what I had to do is I had to remove the downpipe because the uh, the wheelie bin was quite a bit taller than the original water butt, so I needed to cut a piece of that downpipe off. And for that I used my compound miter saw. Um, you can use a hand saw. I used a compound miter saw just for speed. Mine has like a multi-purpose uh, blade, so if you've got a wood blade, I'm not sure if that would be ideal. Now I just needed to work out where I wanted the hole to go for the uh, the downpipe. So I used the lid of a sweet jar, which is quite a bit bigger than the downpipe, so that there's lots of movement in case I've got the uh, the alignment a little bit wrong. So I just used a marker pen, went round that sweet jar, and then I took um, a spade bit and uh, I drilled a hole, and that hole is uh, to facilitate the, um, the jigsaw.
and for that I just used um, a wood bit which was absolutely fine and I took my time just as not to cause any damage to the lid, any cracks, things like that. It's great to have a lid on a water butt just in case any animals fall in. It's also safer as well. So as I say, I just took my time, took it easy. This was kind of the last modification I needed to do um, to this wheelie bin to turn it into a water butt. Of course, if you had like um, a few of these, you could string a few together and uh, get a really good capacity, but I only had the one. As I say, 240 litres is enough for me. So now it was time to uh, put everything in place and get the downpipe back on. So now I'm just going to reattach that downpipe. So next, um, I decided to grease up uh, the mechanism on the uh, on the tap. The top piece came off on my tap. It probably won't on the one you buy, but if it does, it's a good idea to give it a greasing up just because of the wear. Um, plastic doesn't wear too well with friction, so a bit of grease just goes a long way. And I just use sort of standard automotive grease for that. So now I thought it would be a good idea to just fill up the water but just enough uh, so that the water meets the tap just to see if the, uh, the water flows through as it should. And as you can see, the water's flowing through fine. So hopefully when that water butt fills up, it'll work great. Um, it's really sunny in the UK here at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it won't be long before there's a downpour. So if you found this video useful, please uh, leave me a like and um, also comment. So if you've got any questions, please let me know. And also consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.